string banjo from uh, Manassas, Virginia, Kevin Church. <laughs> Mr. And Mrs. Church, boy. And uh, from Halifax, Virginia, played the mandolin, Norman Wright. <laughs> Our newest member, we're very proud, he's been with us about a year now, and uh, he comes from, originally from Charlotte, North Carolina, living in Nashville now, and uh, Jimmy Bowen on the bass player. Thank you. 
Church are gonna sing a song here. This is uh, actually a song we, we recorded as a country gentleman a long, long time ago. But Kevin does an extra fine job on this song, and uh, it's in uh, 
I remember all this stuff. What key is it in? B. That's my L. We had a wonderful time since we've been here. It's certainly is nice weather. Have it made out here, boy. Don't nothing ever happen where we live. <laughs> I live way back in the country. I live so far back in the woods I have to go towards town to go hunting. <laughs> what are you hunting, John? Here's one called Lonesome for that day.
a special way you are, and I'll be fine. Don't stop doing all those little things that please me. Fill my heart like you fill my frame of mind. song we recorded it a long time ago it's on our Joe's last train now <laughs> and uh, I know that you're probably all wondering we did bring a lot of records with us <laughs> sometimes our records are just hard to find in the stores they fresh out and stuff like that <laughs> we got CDs eight tracks and It's hard to tell what sales anymore. It's funny to tell Charlie wants to start this music. He wants to do a gig at the late track. That's what he's... <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got a lot of stuff that we left and forgot on the bus. Yeah, we couldn't bring the bus in here because it's a little hard to get in here. Uh, broke it last night. And I have a pretty coat. It's in the other room. I'll just take it. <laughs> I see those pantyhose that the uh, Allison mm -hmm. was telling me about. Sure, would you share that with us? The pantyhose that Allison was talking about, that you had a pair like her from Allison? I borrowed it. Oh, <laughs> no wonder you're having trouble talking. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do this high gospel for you. Would you let me borrow them a few minutes? Just, just during the course will be sufficient. Thanks, Freddie, Charlie.
It seems like ages and ages ago. This is on page 129. Is that your books handy? <laughs>
album here. Got together with John Duffy, Eddie Edcock, Tom Gray, and myself, and did a classic country gentleman album. And uh, it was a lot of fun in the making, and we got some up with us. I'd like to do one of the songs off of it here. This uh, tune is very typical from the material we was recording when we were together. And it's, uh, it's called Fairly Well.
day while you were working As I lay upon my bed I was trying to be patient And to think of what you said Just before the lamps were lighted Just before the children album and uh, Kevin picks guitar on this time. It's about mining. Is it coal mining? Coal mining. Maybe. From the uh, return engagement album. Yeah, the miners. <laughs> How's it working now? Did you get it fixed? I, 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 well, I'm on this in good shape. My mouth is not doing too good. <laughs> no, I had some watermelon seeds hung up in it. Florine was playing it last Saturday night over at the dance hall. <laughs> <laughs> She got some watermelon seeds hung up in it, and if, it, and if it's already any bad news, you can blame it on Florine. <laughs> <laughs> a warning to your neighbor For all of those who labor At trying to make a living underground Matters not for what you're seeking The chances are you will weaken In time the odds will turn your life around Cold fields of Kentucky, man, they say you're lucky if the black lung don't put you underground. While you're swollen with the gold lust, breathing in the coarse dust, till silly coarses finally drag you down. Hear that cold still ringing. Hear them hammers swinging low. Life ain't hardly worth it all. Yeah, the Tommy Doctor's knocking. Feel the reeling and the rocking. Afraid it's gonna come in after all. Who hits 
Peter lives to tell it unheard. A thousand more are swallowed in the mire. And for each decent mining outfit, there's a hundred other misfits that never plan to see a man retire. So when choosing your profession, take heed and learn a lesson from those who've lived to labor underground. Cause they've got a different story, mining and its glory. They'd give it all to turn their life around. Hear that cold steel ringing. Hear them hammers swinging low. A miner's life ain't hardly worth it all. Get the Tommy Narkers knocking. Feel the reeling and the rocking. Afraid it's gonna come in after all. traditional bluegrass people we got here tonight just got any first timers have you you never been to this gentleman you you've been here before haven't you you've seen the country gentleman he's the one who walked down the aisle he said i've been seeing charlie for 30 years he said but you've got a new face though same one they had all the time we happen to be here with you and uh i know since we've been here, I, that, uh, I found that you talk kind of funny. And uh, being from New York City, you know, I know you might have a hard time understanding us once in a while. <laughs> but nevertheless, we're going to get it across somehow here. How am I doing so far? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, we oh. went to New York City. We did something wonderful up there. We found the parking place. <laughs> Tell you, that ain't all we found up there, either. Yeah. Speaking of pantyhose. <laughs> <laughs> it was great fun. <coughs> Go ahead, you got yourself... No, as far as I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop. I just want to tell you in the public, you just want to go public with it. I'm in love with Allison Price. Boy, don't you sing pretty? Have you ever Woo! heard from that band before? <laughs> now, if I can just convince my wife to let her come stay with us, I guess everything will be all right. I see it. Yeah. Go see what I brought you. <laughs> <laughs> One of the pretty songs I think the country gentlemen do is the Dolly Parton tune, and Charlie sings, sings the fire out of this, and we'd like to do it for you called God's Coloring Book. <laughs> I was walking in a field just down the way. I sat down on a fallen log to pass the time away. And as I looked around me, the more that I did look, the more I realized that I was viewing God's coloring book. I saw a golden ray of sunlight. A silver drop of dew, snow white fleecy clouds floating over the sky of blue, a yellow dandelion, a pretty evergreen, some red and orange flowers growing wild along the stream. And the more I looked around me, the more that I did look. Viewing God's coloring book. The gray 
Ladies in an old man's hair, the pink in baby's cheek. The blackness in a stormy cloud, the brown and fallen leaves. A mellow-colored rainbow stretched out across the sky. And the purple haze at sunset, just before the night. And the more I looked around me, the more that I did look, the more I realized that I was doing God's coloring book. Then I turned my face toward the sky and said a silent prayer. And though God doesn't speak to me, I see him everywhere. He is all around me, he's everywhere I look, and each new day is but a new page in God's coloring book. He is all around me, he's everywhere I look, and each new day is but a new page in God's coloring book. Excellent songwriter here, and we uh, singer, songwriter, picker, everything. And uh, you feel up to it? Oh, I might just do that. What's in it for me? <laughs> no, I love to do that. I got a little promotion spell I'll give you here if you don't mind me talking just a little bit more. Oh, uh, they ain't never stopped you before. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. Back in uh, about the wintertime last year, like about this time, I uh, had a chance to work with some real good pickers in the studio, and we were doing some demos of my song. I have a studio in Virginia. And I uh, had some real good musicians that were off a couple of weekends, some of Tony Rice's people from, from the Tony Rice units, some Virginia Squires, and old Calvin over here. And uh, we got together about two weekends and we were doing some demo stuff, and it sounded so good, I decided to put it out on tape, unbeknownst been knowing to them, so I could make some money. <laughs> so uh, I have someone with me. I've just we've done a few of them in case you're interested in some original songs and and some Please. real fancy picking. Please go by and see him and buy one of his tapes because let's see, I did that a, a year <laughs> over a year ago and I haven't received a dime for anything. <laughs> so I, if you buy one of them, maybe you'll get enough money where you can at least buy my dinner one night or something. <laughs> He's a little yeah. cheap. <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right, that's your name. <coughs> it's true. And this is one of the songs off of that. It's called Love Has Love Made Us What We Are Today. <laughs> Ain't it funny 
to sell over there today. You got any, got any items that the folks might be interested in? Yeah, I've got some hats if y'all feel sorry for two little kids at home running around barefoot. I haven't <laughs> sold them since I've been in California. Are they country some, gentleman hats? They're country gentleman hats. Is that the writing on the front? And got, does it have the fox it's, on it? It's got like a fox on it. Describe them a little bit. What colors do well, they come in? Uh, <laughs> Would you talk you're, about you're my really? tape a little bit while you're at it? <laughs> We got a two for one. If you buy Norman, you get Jimmy free tonight. Feels a turn right.
know a lot of you, been following Charlie Dan for years, you know what a good singer he is, a great singer. But he's also a, an excellent guitar player too. He's got his own style, a unique style of, of playing. We're gonna feature him. We're gonna expose him right now on a good old tune. <laughs> By the way, Charlie was at home the other day, laying back and his wife come in there. He just let him have one right across the kisser. And old Charles says, now what was that for? She says, for being such a lousy lover for all these years. So he laid there and thought about that for a while. He don't get too excited real fast, you know. He meant he went up there and, and returned it faith to the moon valley. She says, now, now what was that for? He said, knowing the difference. <laughs> You feel hot tonight, Charles. You may refer to Charles as Chucky Baby while he's in California picking for you. That's his preppy, preppy alias. Huh. Usually that have again. the drummer kick this off, but he was unable to be with us tonight. So. Well, he had a nice one anyway. Somebody shot him in a bluegrass festival. <laughs> <laughs> I'll improvise here. Ready? Ready? Under the double eagle march. John D. Loudermilk. You better watch this, Charlie. Hmm? You better watch this, and I got to see you out there tonight. Oh, really? Not meant to be an anti hunting song, just might sound that way, but uh, I think it's just a very pretty tune. It's called The Little Grave. Cool.
one winter's eve I went a walking out beyond the city gate for to fetch a fresh young pheasant for my darling's dinner plate. It was snowing oh so quietly and the woods were soft and wild. Just the sound of snowflakes falling and the footsteps as I The bird fell from the air. As I held this dying body, the strangest thought came over me. God had made this little. so thoughtlessly All the woods were dark and shadow With the light the cold stars gave I said a prayer to God in heaven And covered up a little grave stop with looks, you know. <laughs> Should we ask for requests or then? Uh, that's what we come out here for. Can you share? Yeah. Okay. I think that, that we should um, tell all the pretty women where we're staying tonight. Yeah, tell don't you think, Kevin? Tell don't you think we should? I think we should. Yeah, me, Kevin, and Norman like to. No, you can't do that. Sure you can't come out here to. California solicit these young ladies. Right there. Well, we're, we're not soliciting, Charlie. We, we told you we're begging. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're in the Continental Trailways Motel. It's over parking Ken's yard over there. Yeah, that's why I was going to say, thanks to Ken, we got to stay there because Charlie, you know, what he does, takes us out to these motels and he always parks in the Holiday Inn. And everybody thinks that we're staying there, but he makes us walk across to the Red Roof Inn from 1995. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see, what did somebody just say? Bring the Mary Holland. Okay. Is anybody? Uh, I'm ready. I was driving down a lonely road on a dark and stormy night. When a little girl by the roadside showed up in my headlight, I stopped and she got in the back and in a shaky tone, she said, my name is Mary, please won't you take me home? She must have been so frightened all alone there in the night. There was something strange about her, for her face was deathly white. She sat so pale and quiet in the back seat all alone. I never will forget that night I took Mary home. Go. Got out to help her from the 
car and opened up the door. But I just could not believe my eyes, for the back seat was bare. I looked all around the car, but Mary wasn't there. A light shone from the porch, someone opened up the door. just down the road Our darling Mary lost her life and we miss her so Thank you for your troubles and the kindness you have shown You're the 13th one who's been here bringing Mary home Well, I guess we have time for one more song. And uh, are they, uh, when's there going to be any seats available for the next show? Do you have an idea yet? Yeah. You do have an idea? Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you confuse me now from the country. Yes, there are seats. Yes, there are seats. Okay. You want to stay around? Uh, see yeah, Wayne or some, some, some folks at the door, and uh, uh, I guess they can work out something for you. And we'd love to have you stay if you would. You know, I'm, it's kind of a short evening, it seems like to me. We just got, I just got through talking. <laughs> I mean, I just started, really. All right, we'll uh, change that here. Take it out. This song was very good to us through the years. Uh, it's been a very common song. It actually is a, it's an old life tune, the Man for Man song. It's called The Fox on the Run. <laughs> Yes, sir. 
set your wheels on fire. If you don't run silly time, you have heard Jesus call, and a death your soul must solve. So my friends, if you desire, you may join the heavenly choir, and rejoice with him from every sin, when he sets this world on fire. Set your wheels on fire If you don't from sin retire You have heard Jesus call And I bet your soul must fall So my friends, if you desire You may join the heavenly choir And rejoice with them free from every sin When he sets this world on fire Thank you.